I couldn't imagine doing anything other than what I do. I, um, owning a business has its challenges and struggles and you know we've hit some of those through my six years of being here but it ultimately keeps coming back to this is what I love to do. I, I feel it in me that this is my purpose. For those of us lucky enough to earn a living doing what we love. The Gerbera daisies are also really fun and obviously coming in soon will be all the roses coming in. <laughs> a wise person once said it's like never working a day in your life but the reality is Many business owners find themselves working harder than ever these days to protect the work they love. I'm fighting hard to stay here. I, I love it. I get joy out of every vase arrangement that I do. I get joy out of helping you know, a gentleman pick out tulips for his anniversary and getting to know him that way. Um, it's those little stories that complete my day. And I, I don't think anything else would ever give that to me. Alicia Robson, owner of Lakeside Floral in Willerney, practically grew up in this shop, sweeping floors and cleaning flowers in high school, eventually buying it years later. Here she learned all about flowers and much like her medium, she gets people to open up in order to make each arrangement personal. I call myself a floral psychic sometimes. So <laughs> it's what sets her apart from big business shops, asking lots of questions, making each order unique, and working within one's budget. You got your big, your medium, your small, and just different colors. Robeson Shop carries gifts, many locally made and some exclusive to the area. Their cooler flowers are personally cared for by Robeson to ensure customers get the highest quality. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Another added touch is the senior shop dog, Bianca, who will give you a friendly wag, welcoming you to her home away from home. Along with Bianca, Robeson's two young daughters spent their days at the shop during COVID. Helping out, she had to let her part-time staff go when business slowed down. Weddings account for half of her sales, while funerals about 25%. With large gatherings reduced because of COVID, business has suffered. But the push for shopping local by locals has kept her doors from being closed and her creativity as she faces survival wide open. And this community has been great. I've, I've gotten to know a lot more people now with COVID that just, you know, they're calling. We're like, we need flowers and we want to support you. We want to keep you there. And um, that just means the world to me. Thank you.